Washington as the sun will rise and politicians have lying eyes as sure as suffering multiplies the rich will never be poor as certain as in life you learn the rich have money and time to burn the rich will counsel you wait your turn in heaven you'll get some more across the bay police raiding the occupy site at the uc berkeley campus clearing out the rest of the camp incredible imagination of the idea of making book tents um, and arranging them across the Mario Salvio steps where the tents, the multicolored physical human occupant tents had been placed. Despite the shift to scale to very small books, they were very big in that space. And the, the hopefulness of imagination in the face of what some viewed as repression um, the body, the objects of the book uh, being the vehicle of that was very powerful. What's so interesting is the idea that these very iconic spaces, which most people on campus are aware of, to some degree of history, some degree of personal investment or, or, or interest, were re-excited, reignited, reanimated somehow um, by the inclusion and the overlap of new works of art. Certainly during the free speech movement, there was no Regentosaurus Rex. There was no paper mache Tyrannosaurus Rex, as if it were the UC Regents. Uh, there was no um, recycled Regents um, uh, recycling bin uh, made out of cardboard. But the sort of addition of new forms, new expressions, and new challenges, new forms of artistic creative work as resistance, I think, um, made the the history in a sense anew, um, and perhaps in some senses, even if idealistic, um, fulfilled the commitments of these monuments, these iconic spaces from the past, and sustained them as uh, some of those uh, present during those earlier moments might envision those spaces. I think there are a lot of really beautiful things happening. The big rally day that really exemplify how art can be um, a really powerful and peaceful way to protest having, and also using art to create a space that is friendly and sends the message that you want. So I think it's kind of easier to make a peaceful structure than to, you know, like yell a peaceful message or even like, and it's just hard to communicate with people through any kind of words because how do you get it to them and get them to be receptive? You know, a flyer, so many people don't want to like read flyers and people are yelling, people are turned off. But I think just seeing something that is emotional and beautiful will get so many people involved.